was younger and I would try to write something, I would just jump to trying to write the final piece the very first time. I'd sit down, and when I was done writing, I thought I was done writing, and it was done, it was over. What I learned later in my life is that that's not how really good writers do it. Now, occasionally it happens. Every now and then you can sit down, just start writing, and when you're done, you're done, and it can't be improved. But the building of your ideas and your words muscles really involves five steps. And the five steps are pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. The earlier stages, like pre-writing, are more about your ideas. And the further you go through the steps, they're more about your words. But at each step, you jump back and forth between building your ideas and your words. Each of these five steps is almost like an exercise for your ideas and your words muscles. But each step has a very different role. Each step does something to really help you to create incredible writing. The pre-write stage, that very first stage, it's where you just try and figure out your ideas and what it is that you want to say in your writing. It's where you figure out what's important to you and where you start to organize your thinking. You have all of these ideas, but maybe you haven't tried to put them together in a way to explain them. So before you even start writing, you're pre-writing. You take a moment to really figure out why you're writing. What is it that's inside you that should come out into the world? Your perspective, your ideas. Get in touch with them first before you put pen to paper or start typing on a keyboard. Once you have your ideas and you've started to organize them, then you can move into the draft phase. Think of this like your first copy. This is not your finished copy. It can be sloppy. It can be messy. There can be tons of spelling mistakes, grammar mistakes, but it's your first try at turning those ideas that are in your head into words on a page. And it gives you something to work with, something to build and make better. You then take that draft and you revise it. This is kind of like where you begin to polish your work. Most often you go back to your draft and you find sentences and you think to yourself, is there a better way that I could have said this? Are there better sentences or better words I could use that would help me get across my idea from me to someone else better? And you're constantly trying to improve your work when you're revising. And the revising is really about your words, choosing the right words, choosing the right sentences, and often either adding things, but just as importantly, taking away things that don't help your ideas. There's a saying in writing that you should cut your darlings. So even if you like the thing being in your writing, it might not actually be helping serve the ideas that you're wanting to express. So pre-writing is about your ideas. Drafting is just getting it out there and starting. Trying to write your thing, but knowing you're going to change it a lot. Revising is about improving the quality of your words, your word choice, your sentences, how you put those sentences together, what you're saying. Editing is when you're getting close to sharing this work. Editing is where you go back through and do the stuff that most people associate with writing in school. Editing is where now you go back to check for spelling mistakes. Editing is where you go back to make sure your grammar is correct, that you've used the proper punctuation. All of the things that are really easy to see on the page, that if you've made a mistake there, it's really going to distract your reader. 
to me, if you're not careful with your editing, your writing is kind of like a YouTube video that pauses and buffers or skips. If you're watching a video and it starts to pause and buffer and skip, maybe the first time you, you kind of accept it, but if it keeps happening, it gets really frustrating to watch the video and after a while you'll stop caring about it and probably flip to something else that's not skipping. Well, editing's kind of the same. If you do have a lot of spelling mistakes or improper sentences or you forgot to tidy up some things from your revision, well, that really is frustrating for your reader. And it's like a skipping YouTube video and they might just throw your letter aside or not really care so much about your ideas, which would be really sad if you've put all this work into it. So editing is a really important last step, but it's not the most important. Finally, once you've organized your ideas, you've written them out, you've improved the way you want to say them in your revisions, you've edited to make sure there's no spelling mistakes, no messy words, no missing punctuation, nothing that's going to distract your reader. Finally, it's time to publish and to create, a, create the copy that will be shared with other people. That might be a final letter, a final post on a website or a message board. Uh, it might be an email. But that published piece is that final piece that actually goes to someone and, and connects that other person with the idea that you've had, that you've really wanted to share, and that's really important to you. Each step helps serve your ideas and your word muscles. And each step is really an important exercise in helping you develop like the best possible piece of writing. And yeah, it takes more work. And I can imagine the younger version of myself hearing this, just being like, oh, let me just jump to the publishing and be done with it. The problem, if you try to skip these steps and just finish the thing and get it across, is usually your piece of writing it isn't as powerful in the world as it could have been if you took the time to pre-write, draft, revise, edit, and publish. Because even though you might start with the ideas in your pre-write and know what you want to say, sometimes as you go through the step of, steps of drafting and revising, as you're finding those words, you might go back and actually develop your ideas even further. You might have new ideas that you didn't when you started, and you might get clearer on some things. And that's the really impressive part about writing, is writing itself, when you do these five steps, actually makes, or can make, your ideas much stronger for yourself and help you get clearer on things. But it can just as easily help you to create a more powerful piece of writing that will have an impact in the world and possibly influence people to do what you think should be happening. Pre-writing, getting your ideas, starting to organize them, drafting, just writing a bad, rough copy, revising, improving your wording and your sentences, taking things out, adding things, Editing, polishing, making sure there's no little mistakes or scratches in your writing. And finally, publishing, creating the copy that you're going to share with others, the five stages of a writing process.